We're in for an absolute banger here. Welcome back to the custom games. 2v2v2v2. Two two v two v two. What are you going to do but stick them in a meat grinder every X minutes? Not a player dies. A team dies. That's right. One and all. Welcome back to the A4 action. This is a fun one. This shout out. I think it was Rasselbot recommended this because Rasselbot could already calculate for this. The guy who made this mod. The way this mod works is the players have to kill. And whoever has the least kills gets taken out. Rasselbok already set it up. Love the forward thinking here so that teams can happen. Two players will have their scores combined together for each of their teams. And the lowest score overall as a team will be eliminated. So let's see how this one's going to go because we are indeed going to be on Baltic of all maps. This is a mini-map Baltic though. Courtesy of Kavayu. Shout out to them. They're in the chat. They've been working really hard on these maps. Kavayu, I look forward to seeing what other maniacal creations you have in mind because I'm already loving the ones you've created. But this is going to be a fun one. So what we've done to bounce things out, because team games, like free for you can kind of just let rank be rank and interesting things happen. I wanted to make sure that everyone kind of felt like they had a shot. So what we've done is we we basically combined more or less mostly golds with conk and, or diamonds. So this is a fairly balanced lobby. We've got, in the north, we've got Spade or plus Krent because Krent moved up to diamond. Over in the west side, we've got Hosin with Doland. Hosin is a former conk and now currently diamond. Down here in the south, we've got Juan Pablo and Rafael. And Juan Pablo, I believe, was also Diamond. And then finally on the east side, we've got Tally and Riftal DM. Riftal is a conk level player, but I believe Tally was our lowest ranked player, if I'm not mistaken. So it should be a fun one. Curious to see how many people are going to do water. That's going to be the best part, is the feeling that you can ID who's Diamond or conk based on whether they played water or not, right? <laughs> the way we've done this is usually we use the point reset system when players are eliminated. That's not in place here. I thought it'd be more interesting to kind of add this, this balanced skill level of if you take out a, a neighbor, it's much harder to reach the next neighbor. So I wanted to make it fairer in that you keep those points. So that is an option you can do yourself. You can basically set it so when someone's eliminated, all the points reset or it continues on. We've gone for the continuation. A mini forest nothing. Oh my god, Kevayu. How are you going to do that without crashing everyone's game? <laughs> Uh, and we'll do meat grinder with forest nothing. Everyone goes out at mid at eight because no one can reach each other. So let's talk about these combos. I'm wondering if these guys strategize. What the? Actually, what? It's double sushi. <laughs> That's going to be a slow moving army, man. East side, we've got Japanese plus the Byzantines. I really like this combo because you can go Onibagisha spam plus Hippodrome Horseman and you move really fast so you can get kills early. North side, it's going to be double French, right? Yeah, we've got old French and new. That's interesting because I don't know if you guys knew this, but Jean d'Arc's abilities, they do work on your allies. So you can have double knight spam and Jean can heal them both. <laughs> and then finally on the west side, we're going to have Marlians and Japanese. I like that from the logic that you have one of the strongest range sieves with one of the strongest melee sieves at an early feudal point. Because you can spam javelins here and you can get into samurai and onabagisha here. That's a pretty cool combo. We'll see how it pays out. Looks like we have got quite a few players going out to the water. So west side team is going to do it. North side is only Krent so far. No join in from orange. East side has been completely ignored. And south side is the same. I'm a little bit surprised more people aren't doing fishing. But what you have to remember is because the first player, first team rather is going to be eliminated at 8 minutes. There's probably this pressure in the mind that going fishing slows your game down. Because it makes sense, right? Like, typically, your tech up time is going to be two minutes later by going fishing. Because you scale into it so much. Let me know who you think is going to win this, by the way, guys. Whether you're watching this live or later on YouTube, get your predictions in now. Is it Team West, Team North, Team East, or Team West? Just put the direction and we'll know what you mean. I really like Team East. Not just because Riftal is the, technically the highest ranked player. It's the combo. It's just so mobile. And I think that's very important in this game mode. You have to have a layer of mobility. When you're too slow, you can just get left behind. And I think that's going to be an issue for the south side team especially. Unless Team East rushes into them. What? Okay, guys, you remember that part where it's like, this is a really good combo because Marlins do range really well. And Japan does melee really well. <laughs> then... And then Japan's the one doing ranged. And the Malians are the ones doing melee. This is some interesting team discussions going on. I wish I was a fly on the wall for that one. If only there was a way we could read in-game chat messages. Relic, please. Thank you, Beanies. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Love all the support we've been seeing for the community. I'm, just, dude, I'm obsessed with bringing these type of game modes. I, I think it's cool that we've got all this 1v1 formatted content. I do enough of it. 
I want to do more of this community. Find fun game modes, set their rules, and include them. Because you do that, like people surprise you. We mentioned Kren. Kren has, Kren has been an impressive journey. Kren went from being a goldie to a diamond. Now, I take credit. It was clearly because he played in my micro map free throws. <laughs> Ooh, almost a snipe on the scout here. The horseman could chase this down, actually. This could be big. Because right now, like, what, what is going on in this game, guys? <laughs> we need to kill. They do know that if they all have zero, they all die, right? <laughs> Don't tell me Tally and Rivtal are just going to get the freest win possible. We're two minutes away from an elimination. Oh, my God. Is there any military vessels coming out? Like, that's another really important thing. Oh, someone thought they were safe. Hosen's done it. He got the kill. Pink, red, need a fight up here. And Northside team needs it too. I think South is gone. They're, they're just out of it, man. I don't think doubles usually is the play. You just have zero mobility. Because you want Chuganu, right? Flash comes in. You just need to commit. Just kill the scout right now. This is it. Do or die. And Abigishi moving in. Pink. Oh, he gets it. He just about gets it. We're now a minute and 10 seconds away. By the way, I believe Rasselbock did add it in, so that now Jun Dark does actually give points when you kill her. She gives the value of her buyback. Is that correct, Rasselbock? I think we got that added in. Or is that still in the works? Oh my god. One kill could be so important here. Yellow's on the move. Chiganu are marching west. Team West need more. Hosen's help, but they need to stack the points up ASAP. Tally also will feel like he needs more here. He's got the horse and he's got the mobility. The problem right here for Riftor is he's spamming Onobagishi and Feudal Age. Not the most reliable unit at this stage of the game. This unit comes online in Castle. Comes online with time into melee techs as well. But they have no time. 30 seconds away. Team South, the most at risk here. They need kills. They just need to go in. You can't even wait right now. Who's going out here? Like, th this has to be... Surely, this is South team. One's got some in there. This is going to be tighter than it appears. Remember, you have to combine the points of the team together. Oh, my God. I think it's Eastside team. It is! Oh, my God. The Horsemen, the Triumph, the Onibagisha. They seemed like they were going to have the momentum to do something here. But no dice. First team out. And now we have six minutes to go to the next elimination. Now remember, the points are holding. They're not being thrown away after the fact. So if you build a lead, you keep the lead. I can't believe I was so wrong. I had high hopes for them, but charging into mass knights and horsemen probably isn't the quickest way to succeed with that comp. Dive now coming in. Wait, what? Okay, someone's been watching too many Louis MT replays. <laughs> Is that a real landmark? No, because it's never been complete. Chicken New are diving. <laughs> Backstab coming in from Musafadi Warriors. In Feudal Age, though. Chicken New is still going to make it a massacre, though. The, the problem right here is everything they're building is bad against Chicken New. Yumi Archers, Musafadi, they all get slapped. This is po quite possibly the worst combo you can do against double Shushi. <laughs> oh my god, they are murdering right now. Yumi will eventually clear this up, but the price has most definitely been high. All right, Krent, Spaddle. If I was you, I'd be sweating right now. You you need to get your asses moving. There is no time to wait around here. I love the fact that the wall in the east side, as if it matters, those players are dead, right? The likelihood you get flanked here is low. You need to go. Because four minutes might seem like a long time, but similar to a sacred site logic, it's not. Especially in a game where the points are increasing based on your opponent's fighting. If they keep fighting, which I expect them to on this west side, you're going to just be completely eclipsed. It's the sum. So to confirm for people, these scores, you need to combine the two teammates' scores together. And that's the value. So right now, like, there's no doubt these guys are done if they can't start killing. Hosin and Juan, like, I mean... 
<laughs> These two have been the standouts, right? Hosin just spamming up the moves of Vardy. These are the two highest ranked players left in this, if I remember correctly. Uh, Hosin used to be Conk level. He's now pretty hard in the diamond. And I think Juan is like mid to high diamond. And then Kren is the, uh, the other diamond level player. Now, they have a very strong army. If they time this right, they could easily just take the lead. That's a lot of knights to contest with. 11 knights in total, a bunch of archers to back it up. It's very strong timing. Flash comes in. Dive into the base. Musafadi to try and hold, but guys, these are terrible. Musafadi's against knights get destroyed. Joan needs to farm up a lot more than this. Pressure's coming in. I mean, if anything, you can back off and burn the houses to force a fight. Even a ramp play would make a lot of sense here for them. Instead, it's going to be a dive even deeper. Knights look at their targets. Fulani. Wait, there is room there, right? Yeah, just about. That looked a bit un uncomfortably snug. I mean, this is way too good of a trade, though, right? Kren, Spaddle, making up for it. They're going to start to eclipse a few of their targets. Raphael's falling behind, but Juan is carrying here, guys. That dive done so much damage, this isn't enough. They have to go again. I think the issue there as well is Divine Restoration probably is worth a pump halfway through that, especially looking at the HP parts now. But instead, Spaddle never triggered it. Well, can we actually fix the team colors? I don't think Insert fixes it, right? No. So there's no easy way to fix this team color thing. Honestly, I'd say that summoned a flag to Relic. Why didn't we actually have an ability in team games to just put everyone under? Well, you can in one like one team versus one team, right? Red versus blue. But even the spectator mode gets weird there. But in 2v2v2v2s, there's no grand solution to assign. You can give them similar colors. So actually, I, I, by the way, I love this. Shout out to Dolan and Hosin. They've done that for us. They picked blue and teal so that it was similar. The other two didn't give a crap. <laughs> They're like, what is a different color? Green and orange. I love green and orange. This is what I'd paint my Nissan if I had one. Would I go water in this map? That's a good question. I think there's some value in doing it. The cool thing as well is actually just going water to build a military vessel is very strong because other players are going to try to fish. It's a bit of a gamble if you don't know they're fishing because there's no value there other than the eco. But I'd say for the first kill, not worth it. Second kill, you've got time. Life coming in. The problem right now is that yellow and purple need to fight because what's happening here is because orange and green are fighting the, the top score player, all they're doing is putting purple and yellow closer to death. So this is actually 100% the correct call. Mass Musafadi coming through in few lays though. <laughs> How is Joan doing on XP? Spadal's got to be farming up a storm, man. 400 to 500. He's going to get it. Now it's right now coming out. This is it. I think yellow and purple just realized the mistake they made. Backing up was the worst possible thing they could do. Walker New is at least going to claw some points back, but this is looking undeniable. The Zhuji Alliance are going to crumble in 30 seconds. Oy, oy, oy. And then my question is, can you stop hosting? Because I'm getting a bit worried here, guys. Musafadi count up to 33. Remember, because those scores aren't resetting, it's possible if he keeps trading well, he'll just eclipse them entirely. Spadal and Kren are age free though. So if they can take some good trades, they could easily just claw this back in six minutes to win. Here it comes. It's too late. Oh, sweet prince. If only you came earlier. But I'm afraid the princess is in another castle. And you're six feet under. Two teams left. Let the bloodbath commence. They need an age up. Dolan already reached up, but Hosin needs to mirror it. He's carrying the team in a point perspective right now, but these Musafadi are now going to get hard counted. Their archer's coming through. Jonin level three online. What I don't like from green and orange is them backing up, actually. I think you keep pressuring. That backing away is the worst possible thing you could do right now. Wait, did I say there's meant to be 26 minutes? No, no, that's wrong. It wouldn't be 26. It would be 20. Yeah, yeah dude, my, my maths. I totally, like, I counted an extra team there. First Elim, 8 minutes. Second, 14. Final at 20. I love all these 20-minute free-for-alls and 20-minute team games. It's so cool. Once it hits two players, you'd like to see 10 minutes instead of two. Uh, instead of six. I feel like six is good, though. Six is a lot of time in a game like this.
I'll let Spadol just take the safe trades right now. It's so dicey to try and dive in on this, but the, the problem I'm kind of facing here is the fact that Hosun could have easily teched up by now. Got these Wizards the upgrades, and then you can't fight anyway. You have to remember that we see everything from Krennic and Spadol's perspective. They're blind. They're blind to what's happening behind this. They always have to keep diving in and checking for the Fulani. You know what would be sick here is double Mango. Double Mango would just actually get them the lead. This is so many Musafadi. They're very squishy and they cost 80 resources each. Double Mango would reduce all their health pools to, like, what, 20? And then the Night Charges would instantly kill them. They're taking a methodical approach to this. They have still got four minutes to work with. We're nowhere near level 4, that's for sure. Level 4 would make this so easy with Valor's Inspiration. I actually kind of like that, because this kind of game mode would require that Jean can't so easily get that kind of level up. Because Valor's Inspiration would break this matchup entirely. That attack speed buffer would just disintegrate everything. I think, actually, Hosen needs to be saved by Dolan, really. Like, Dolan's a, a more important deal here in my eyes. What's he gone for? He's gone... Oh my... Okay. That... Okay. That, no, Dolan's not going to be saving anyone. He needs to be saved. He's only got eight mounted samurai. Holy crap. This is bad. They could actually do this. They're going to have to take the big clash. But right now, like Dolan is not really contributing anything. Oh, Dolan body. A few patches ago. But honey, you're too late. That got removed. Pitman got being removed. Slowing down the trickle for Hosen. They're going to have to take that fight soon. The problem, what I don't like, one thing you need to be careful of, is the longer they wait, the worse this gets. Because if you wait too long, what your opponent can just do is run away. Because you won't be able to burn enough buildings to get the win. So it's very important that you actually just kind of identify that and try to force a fight. This is the value of fighting early, right? It's like it, it gives that added value. So that you kind of dictate the open play. That's the, the balance out for you having to lose all those troops in the initial fights. Safadi. Outnumbering working for them. Here comes the mango though, guys. This is what I wanted. Kren is on it like a car bonnet. And well, in a moment, it's going to feel like Hosen has been hit by a car. Because that mango could be the MVP. Interesting torch with the primary TC. This does not give resources for a kill. Mango shot coming in though. Decent wallop. Samurai committing in, and this is terrible. Like, right now, I don't know. Like, he's just trying to go for the mangoes. Oh, no. That's expensive. This is getting uncomfortable. Hosen, you need Castle Age. I think they've done it. Not only are they responsible for the downfall of the East Side team, they're also responsible for the slaying of the West. Holy crap, what a game. I'm glad we've done this. 2v2v2v2 is 2v2, 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 so a hype. Dive in. I mean, Dolan just looks like a, a dead fish in water at this stage. He's magic carping his way through life. It's going to be a pullback to the double mango. Insulation protection for it. The Musafadi Mass is about to come crashing down. And that is it. No chance in hell. Hosen, score may be high, but you have to be high on something if you think you're winning this now. Patience from the Francais before they swing their baguettes for the win. Bless him. Dolan, I think he didn't know what to do with this in the end. Just couldn't get the mass together. Hosen could not get the tech up. But French Cav win the day. Let me know what you guys think about this. This game mode is amazing. I love the fact we're finding new formats, 2v2s. I'm thinking of 4v4, where you actually just set a threshold point where you decide the outcome of the game. Even sounds incredibly sick. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check this out because we'll be doing a lot more of these in the future.